Hey guys and gals, this is Dave at Basin Calls. And a lot of you have written to me and asked me if I could make a video of just basic snow goose sounds on the call. Just like four basic usable sounds. So we're going to go through that right now with your White Devil snow call. The hand position, as always, with the White Devil isn't too critical. One hand just kind of flags over the exhaust, you know, not tight, but just, just over it. With the White Devil, the more you cover the hole, the more buzzy and guttural the sound becomes. It becomes lower, buzzy, and guttural. As you open your hands up, it becomes higher and cleaner. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the simplest way to learn just the simplest notes. I'm going to give you a couple of different barks, and I'm going to give you some feeding sounds. And that's about it. So first, the idea behind this is with reference words and the simplest way I've figured out now to teach people to say a simple snow goose bark is actually speak the word dat d-a-t dat 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 using your voice dat 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 if I blew through the call backwards here's that sounds dat 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 when you blow through the call normal Dat does this. Dat, dat, bop, bop, bop. Dat, dat, bop, bop, bop. Bop, bop, bop. Dat, dat, bop, 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 bop. The more you open this hand up, the cleaner it'll sound. Bop, 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 bop. All that just by saying dat, not blowing into the call, just saying the word dat, dat, bop, bop, dat, dat, bop, 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 dat, dat, bop, bop, bop. Now, another word you can use to get a higher pitch sound is the word dit, d i t, dit. When you say dit, your tongue goes up to the roof of your mouth, which makes a smaller air chamber. Smaller air chamber makes the air go faster, higher pitch sound. Dit, 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 bop, 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 dit, 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 bop, 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 dat, dat, bop, bop, dit, dit, bop, bop, dat, dat, bop, bop. You can even add dut, d-u-t. When you say dut, your tongue drops down, which opens up the chamber of your mouth. Slower air, lower pitch sound. Dut, dut, dut. Bop, 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 bop. Dat. Bop, bop, bop. Dit. Bop, bop, bop. Now, pretty much higher pitch sounds, you'll open your hand up more to get them high and clear. Just like when you hear the bark of a, of a juvie snow or a female, it's a high clear bark. So you'll generally open up more when you do your dit sounds. Bop, 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 bop. Your dat and dut sounds are the bigger, older words. They'll have more gravel in their voice, so your hands will be typically down more. Dut, dut. Bop, bop. Dat. Bop, bop, bop. Now we can put it all together using dut, dat, dit, and move your hands accordingly. Dit high, dat medium, dut low. Now, as you learn where to place your hands and how much air to put through it, you can find the right spot of cupping that gets you more realism. Dit, dut. Drag it out, kind of like a southern drawl, just like a goose does. Dut. Dit, dut. Dit, dut. Bop, 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 b
thing that works is to work this hand like it's a bill of a bird. By doing that, you get the actual full range of the bark. I'm going dit, 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 but dragging it out. But the hand starts closed, goes open, goes closed. Dit, dit. Dit da dit da And as you open that hand you can draw it. Dut dut You can do all that with the three sounds of dit, dat, and dut. That should get you to be able to make a couple of different pitches of simple barks. Dit. Bop, bop, bop. Dat. Bop, 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 bop. And remember, hand closed, a raspy dat. Bop, bop. Hand open, a high clear dat. Bop, 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 bop. I'm saying the same thing at each time. Dat, dat, dat. next thing I'd like to go over is ground talk. The ground talk is very easy. Usually you hear them grumble in their little three note da 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 and you're just gonna say that with your hands down you're gonna say da 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 into the call. You pitch your voice to the pitch that sounds more goose-like. Geese typically don't have a real deep voice like a human. It's up higher. So your voice pitch will be up higher. If I pitch my voice deep, it'll make it low and unrealistic. Pitch it higher up. The other ground sound you can make is just the monotone duh. On that one, it's important to pitch your voice up to where the reed buzzes clear. If I go too low, it's all rough and garbly, but as I bring it up to the right pitch, you find out if you open your hands too much on the duh, it'll start making breakover sounds, which aren't real good. You want to stay cupped up a little bit. Yeah, you can combine the da da dits with the duh to get the realistic ground sound. And there you go. You got your three to four pitches of dit, dat, and dut barks. You've got your dit, dit, dit ground sound, and then the dit monotone buzz that you hear throughout the flock while they're feeding. And that will basically give you a small arsenal of notes that it's just a few simple things for you to learn. But what you can get out of it is amazing. Bye -bye.